Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to do this uh, particle effect when your player is running. This is what you'll have at the end of this tutorial, so let's get into it. So I want you to make a new particle 2D node into your project. And these are the settings we're going to use. We're going to go um, make sure that it's emitting, it's on 30 here. Lifetime of 2, speed is 2, explosiveness 1. And then make sure that you follow these values that have changed here. So we added particles modulate that and as you can see we've got a sphere here we changed the direction so it's going up and the spread turn the gravity off then we made the angle so it spins a little bit and the velocity is uh, going upwards and then the speed uh, the scale curve is going from small to big then back to small again and I used this texture that I made that you can find here it'll be in the project on GitHub so what we're going to do is we're just going to save this and we'll save as full steps. So full step in objects, save. And then what we're going to do is, using the players, we're going to inst instigate this. So we're going to go to the player code, go to the top, let's put on the top here, we can all of this. Save that, and then what we're going to do is go back to your 2D, go to your player again, and you'll notice now that we've right at the top we've got a foot step. So we're just going to attach the foot step we've just made. Brilliant, so that's now attached, we can instigate that. Also, what we need to do in the foot step is call this foot step. So what we're going to do is attach a script. Make sure it's um, a GD script. Make sure that it's in scripts. Great. And what I'm going to do is get rid of this and paste this in. So all that's happening is where well, once it's ready up, we're going to say wait for two seconds. After the two seconds pass, delete this step because obviously it's only going to initiate once. Save that. And we know that we use two because the two, the lifetime of this is actually two go to the top two so anything after that it's just wasted and now we can change this to one shot so make sure it doesn't happen again if you want to preview it you just click this and you can preview it and it'll stop again save that we're going to go to the script we're going to go back to the player in our player physics i'll put it about here so what's going on here is that we are checking that if we're running, we're going to check if the frame is zero or three, so that's when the player's foot is down. Then we're going to make sure that that last step is in the current frame, so this stops it doing multiple steps in one step. And then once we do, we know that we update the frame, we then instigate the foot into its new var. We set the, the emit into true, so we know it's going to make the foot step happen in the particles. Then we're going to make sure that the, we place the Full step right at the foot of the player, and then we add it to the parent, and then then it also keeps cycling. And then, and as you can see, the foot steps happening. It looks like the foot steps are a little bit too low, so to change that, we're just going to go back into the script, and we'll probably change this to be eighteen. Yeah, about, about there. So this concludes the tutorial. Um, the next one I'm going to do the dash. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.